Rolling Thunder, one of my favorite arcade machines from the 1980s, gets its own Nintendo Entertainment System game cartridge from Tengen, the black one with the very strange artwork. Fortunately, the game happens to be an excellent version of the 1986 arcade classic, where you play a gun-toting secret agent shooting bad guys who conveniently wear outfits that indicate what they do and how many times you need to shoot them. But, don't think that makes the game easy. Rolling Thunder was designed to eat your quarters. And you'll need to memorize every single thing in this game if you intend to survive. Rolling Thunder may as well have been made by Midway. It has that kind of sadistic cruelty that you'll find in games like Robotron or Defender. It's hard as nails, frustrating, and completely unfair at times, yet you'll keep coming back for more because it's so cool. It's Rolling Thunder. Now, you may be looking at the screen saying, what's so hard? This doesn't look that bad. Well, keep in mind that your secret agent must have been in a horrible accident prior to this game. Because he's very fragile. While James Bond can be basically blown up by a nuclear weapon and come back and score with the chick that fired it at him, the secret agent in Rolling Thunder can't even take being looked at the wrong way, or he dies. Also, he's had a horrible neck and or shoulder injury where he can't fire up, even when he's staring right at a bad guy, like an inch in front of his face, he can't shoot him, nor can he jump in the air and shoot him. Come to think of it, he's the worst secret agent ever, and that's what makes this game so damned challenging. His lack of mobility. If you could just shoot up, it would be so much easier. Ah, the tire sequence, this part's pretty cool, but whatever you do, don't tell Nintendo I'm playing an unlicensed game for the NES. They had strict controls over all of their NES game cartridges. It's like I'm breaking the law, but not really. It feels... It feels adventurous. <laughs> like I'm pulling one over on them. They'll never find out. I've defeated Nintendo. No! No, they caught me! They made the game freeze! Curses! Fortunately, I removed their unlicensed game cartridge sensing mechanism when I cleaned the contacts with isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip and started a new game, which they haven't discovered yet. Ha ha ha. Now, why can't I shoot up? Wait, oh no, they've kidnapped Minmay, which would have been the best thing ever in Robotech. You mean we don't have to listen to that irritating singing anymore? <laughs> rock. How much do they want for her? Well, we'll double that and you can just keep her. Now, here's an example of just the sheer unfair nature of this game. These D-bags are dropping grenades on you, yet you can't shoot up! So you just have to run right through their grenade blasts, and then there's bad guys that drop on top of you. That's the thing with Rolling Thunder. You've got to approach every enemy and every doorway and every situation with precise timing and experience. And because this game was so cool, you'd play it over and over again in the arcades. I loved the bad guy designs. With the masks, I used to draw them in like different colors, like the red ones would have flamethrowers or something, and the blue ones had laser guns. See, I haven't changed at all. It's the world that's changed around me. Side-scrollers today are more about the adventure. They're about playing through the game and then going back through it again and collecting a bunch of stuff. Rolling Thunder was about sheer punishment. And the NES version of the game made life easy because it has a password system. So when you do get killed off, you just enter a password and you can start at a different level. Which is actually really cool. Notice that I'm also being timed here on each of the stages, ensuring that players got off that arcade machine quickly. But I'm still playing very cautiously. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've played this, so I don't have the levels memorized like I used to. Generic anime girl! No! I'll save you! Well, maybe not this game. You've gotta hand it to this guy. He looks great in tan slacks. 
I'm thinking about picking up a pair after this review with a red turtleneck. I'm gonna tuck that bad boy in and make GoGo13 my bitch. Remember that game? It's been a while. This is back from the days when Japanese anime was just starting to make a mainstream attack on the West. So it was very cool to see in games like this and GoGo13 and Robotech. It's all pretty commonplace now and maybe this game wouldn't even be all that exciting for people who never played it before, but if you enjoy a good 2D action side-scroller and are looking for a game that forces you to play it perfectly, then play this one, Rolling Thunder. The arcade machine is the best one, but the NES version is pretty good. Now let's watch as it rains panthers on me in Rolling Thunder. Here's a tip, by the way. Shoot up!